today English lesson we are going to revise we are going to revise and your teacher today is Mr. Jero. Our revision is going to focus on determiners. Determiners and the determiners that we are going to use are a and the the we shall also use as well as in joining sentences and lastly we shall see a bit of comparative and superlative adjectives i will start with determinants a an and the we have i have a sentence which i want to read the book I read had an interesting story about a brave girl. We use a before a word that begins with a consonant sound. We can say a book, a chair, a class, a table, a radio, a tree such. We use an before a word that begins with a vowel sound. A vowel sound, we have only five vowels. We have a, a, e, o, u. Those are the vowels. They are, they are five. And we use the when it is clear from the situation which person or thing we mean which person or thing we mean we when it is very clear we mean it's a particular person or it is a particular thing we use there yeah let us look at some of the examples here uh, we have a small paragraph here where we are supposed to use a, an, all, the to fill the gaps in the paragraph. The paragraph reads Ratemo hit dash boy with the dash hockey stick by mystic. Ratemo hit dash boy with dash hockey stick by mistake we find that we can use a boy with a hockey stick because the word hockey begins with a consonant as well the boy starts with a consonant hockey starts with a consonant so we use a boy with a hockey st by mystic we also have dash boy fell down in pain dash boy fell down in pain ratemo quickly called dash teacher on duty who called for dash ambulance uh -huh. so the boy because now we are very clear it is a boy who was hit so the boy fell down in pain okay ratemo quickly called the teacher on duty the teacher on duty who called for an ambulance an ambulance okay she also made dash call to the boy's parents to inform them about dash accident the dash accident so we can see that 
uh, a call was made. So we can say she also made a call to the boy's parents to inform them about the accident. The accident. We are certain that there was an accident. It is clear that an accident occurred. So we use the. It is clear that it's an accident that occurred. So we use the word, uh, the, the determinant, the. Then, Dash Abilans arrived at the Dash injured boy was moved using Dash stretcher. So, we find that ambulance, we know it is starting with R. But we know that ambulance is that assistance that was to, uh, to help the boy move for, uh, for help. So we say the ambulance arrived. The ambulance arrived. We are very certain that it is very clear that it's an ambulance that, that came. So the ambulance arrived and the injured boy, the injured boy was moved using a stretcher, a stretcher. So we have seen that in some situations when it is very clear what you are talking about or whatever thing you are referring to, use the. When uh, we are using words starting with vowels, we use an. We have used the word an, uh, the, the determinant an with an ambulance. We have used, also used uh, a boy, a boy, because the word boy begins with a consonant. We have also used the injured because we have we are very it is very clear that the boy is injured so we have used the injured but if it was at the beginning of our sentence we would say an injured boy but now it is in in uh, in between or the one is the the, the determinant is coming inside uh, in between uh, some other ones, so we use the, and we are very sure that it is the boy, the boy. Stretcher, stretcher, we know it's uh, something that is used to carry uh, an injured person, so we say a stretcher. S is a, a consonant. Now, I also want us to see uh, the use of using of uh, as well as to join some sentences. Uh, but before then, I want somebody to use a in constructing a sentence, an in another sentence, and the in another sentence. Yes, can I have somebody to use a? Uh, yes. Yes, Mary. Good. A boy came late. That is good. Somebody can use an? Brian, yes. Yes, good. I ate an apple in the morning. Fine, that's good. Another sentence using the. Mm -hmm. The boy kicked the ball. Fine. The boy kicked a ball. Fine. Kicked a ball. Fine. <coughs> Now, let us also use as well as to join 
two different sentences as well as one of the sentences is I play football I play football full stop I play volleyball now I want to join these two sentences using as well as so the sentence we read I play football as well as volleyball can all repeat, can you repeat this after me I play football as well as volleyball good now learners I also have a few sentences here which uh, we are going to do orally we are going to do orally the first one Kandenge plays the piano he also plays the violin so the two sentences when joined they read Kandenge plays the piano as well as violin. Kandenge plays the piano as well as the violin or violin. I also have another one. I also have another sentence. Pele speaks Spanish. He also speaks English. Okay. That one reads as Pele speaks Spanish as well as English. Very good. I have also another sentence here. Lolani had his uncle. He also had his knee. Who can do it for us? Morris? Lolani had his uncle as well as his knee. Fine. Another one. Toffy is a builder. He is also a plumber. Esther, can you do this one for us? Fine. Toffee is a builder as well as a pramba. As well as a pramba. Another sentence. The last one. Mudoni writes stories. She also writes newspaper reports. Who can do this? Do this, who can do this for us? Anybody to do it for us? Yes. Mark. Good. Mudoni writes stories as well as newspaper reports. Fine, fine. So, I'll give you some work to do on that um, area of using as well as. I'll give you a few sentences. Can you write these sentences as I dictate them for you? Can you write these sentences as I dictate them for you?
the first sentence. Tosha is good at football. Full stop. Tosha is good at football. Full stop. He is also good at rugby. Full stop. He is also good at rugby. Full stop. Join those two sentences using as well as. As well as. Sentence number two. Sentence number two. She drives cars. Full stop. She drives cars. Full stop. She also drives trucks. She also drives trucks. Trucks is written like this. Trucks. So, you are going to join those two sentences using as well as. The last sentence Origi cleaned the kitchen. Full stop. Origi cleaned the kitchen. Full stop. He also cleaned the bathroom. Full stop. He also cleaned the bathroom. Full stop. Very good. After that, I believe now that we have uh, constructed sentences using the determiners a, an, and the. That is very good. We have also used as well as to join sentences. Now, our last part is about Comparative and superlative adjectives. This is where we are going to look at some of the sentences here and see how the comparative and superlative adjectives uh, look like. We have done them in the past, but today it's just a revision. We want to revise this. Now, we have adjectives that are in brackets to be used in completing some sentences or filling some gaps using those adjectives in the brackets. So, I have an example of a sentence here where we have used the, um, the comparatives and the superlatives. For example, it reads like this. Olo is taller than Ali. Olo is taller than Ali. Full stop. Another sentence says, Olo is the tallest boy in the class. So we have used tall uh, to compare two boys and also to compare the boy with others in the class. So when we are comparing two things or the two boys we have seen taller. Olo is taller than Ali. Those two items. We use two items. We use taller. The two boys taller. Then we also have different sizes. 
And this is more than two items. We are comparing more than two items or two things, and therefore we use the tallest, the tallest among others. So, we use the comparative form to compare two things, while we use superlative to compare more than two things. That is basically what it means. That when you are using a comparative, we are looking at two things, but when we look at more than two, we use the superlative. So, I want to have some sentences here uh, which we are supposed to use the adjectives in brackets and we shall use them to fill the gaps which are listed. Sentence number one reads, the gold medal holder is the dash into bracket good adreti or adreti. That is, the word is good, the word in brackets is good, and then adret. So, in this case, we find that the gold medal holder, this is just one person, is the dash good Adret. So good, it doesn't follow the the pattern of the the tall, taller, tallest. Good follows another pattern where we say good, better, best. So it follows that one. It goes like that. It doesn't follow the same pattern with uh, some uh, some some of the some of the uh, comparatives. <clears throat> so, in this case, we are going to say the gold medal holder is the best athlete. Athlete, the best among all the others is the best. Good. We also have an example, another example. Ogola is dash young than Oruoch. Ogola is dash young than Oruoch. So there are two here. We have Ogola and Oruoch. So that means we are going to use the comparative where we, have, we are comparing two things. Therefore, we shall say Ogola is younger than Oluoch. Ogola is younger than Oluoch. So the two is, uh, the, the, we are comparing using the word, the adjective there is young, so it is younger than. Another sentence here. This movie is dash interesting than the one I watched last. This movie is dash interesting than the one I watched last. There are some uh, adjectives again that don't follow this. We have more and we also use most. These are there also to compare. We use these ones as well to compare. Therefore, we use more interesting, most interesting, more beautiful. We don't say beautiful, beautiful, beautifest. We cannot say like that. We say this is beautiful, this is more beautiful, the other one is the most beautiful. That is the way we use them. Yeah? So in this case, the movie is more interesting than the one I watched last. 
this movie is more interesting than the one I watched last. Another sentence. The dash shot of the four girls is my sister Moni. The dash shot of the four girls is my sister Moni. Yeah? We are using short. And the word short follows the short, shorter, shortest. Shortest. So, we can say that the shortest of the four girls is my sister Moni. That is how we can just put that one. The shortest of the four. They are therefore the shortest of them is my sister Moni. Now I have uh, a sentence which the learners you are going to help me uh, write properly using the, the adjectives given. Which is dash high Mount Kenya or Mount Kilimanjaro? Which is dash high Mount Kenya or Mount Kilimanjaro? Who can do it for us? Yes. Good. It should ask like this. Which is the highest? Which is highest? Mount Kenya or Mount Kilimanjaro? So high is going now to read highest. I have another sentence to, for you to try. My soda is the dash cold. The adjective there is cold of all the drinks. My soda is the dash cold of all the drinks. Now, what are we going to put there? Is it colder, coldest, or which one? Yes. My soda is the most cold. The most cold, is it the coldest? Is it the most coldest, colder? So the answer here should be, my sonda is the coldest of all the drinks. It's the coldest of all the drinks. I have a sentence here. My brother is the dash lazy pupil in the class. My brother is the dash lazy pupil in the class in his class. Yes, who can do this one for us? Yes? Yeah. My brother is the laziest pupil in his class. Now, I have also some three sentences for you to do I have three sentences for you to do that we shall be able to uh, mark or read next lesson. I think I give you some other three. I'm wanting three more uh, for comparative and superlative. Write this. The boy who enjoyed the game. The boy who enjoyed the game. Dash. Match into bracket. The word match. Match. This is the word match. Was. Rugut was Rugut. 
root is R, are you G? I think this is the name of a person, root. So the sentence reads, the boy who enjoyed the game does much was Rugut. The boy who enjoyed the game does much was Rugut. Another sentence. I find chicken dash. I find chicken dash into bracket delicious into bracket delicious than goat meat than goat meat. So I find chicken dash into bracket delicious than goat meat full stop yeah fill that sentence uh, fill that gap using the right as a superlative or comparative object uh, adjective so that it sounds better and it sounds grammatical i fried chicken dash delicious than goat meat last three last sentence the last sentence ngesa is dash ngesa is dash fast than kilunda ngesa is dash into bracket fast Fast is F A S T. Fast. This one. Fast than Kilunda. So we are comparing Gesa with Kilunda. So write the correct uh, adjective there. Having said that, this work, we shall look at it the next lesson. We shall look at this work the next lesson. So, write them well, and I, I know uh, you have understood that, that in comparative, we are comparing two. Superative, we compare more than two things. And uh, I believe you are going to write uh, something smart, good handwriting, and I wish you well in that. Otherwise, our lesson ends there. Until next lesson, your teacher.